Okay, it's time to teach you how to solve the uh, corner sides for the green side. Now, to solve the corners, you are looking for greens in this area. So, if you have greens down here, we'll ignore them for now. If you have greens in these two areas, like these, this one right here, and this one right here, you just want to you just want to work with greens that are in these upper areas, like this. Make sure that you're always holding the cube with green on the bottom so that you know exactly which uh, colors I'm talking about, where blue is on top. So you'll be picking these greens that are in the top layer of the cube, okay? To solve for a corner piece, what you will do is you will look at the corner that is adjacent of your green, not on top, but on the side. If you notice, this one is orange, so it's green, orange. You will move the green orange piece to the orange center because it is you will, you cannot move it to the green center since green is on bottom. You're going to move this green orange piece so that it is diagonal from its orange center. And then you will do a simple algorithm. It's barely an algorithm, but um, you'll understand what I mean if I show it to you. Now, the algorithm is left inverted, up inverted, left, like that. Now. Um, I'm going to show it to you one more time, without saying it is an algorithm. Now, um, when, when you're doing this, I never really think of this part as an algorithm. Basically what you're doing is, see how green is on the side here? If it's on the left side, you're going to be doing this. You're going to expo expose the green bottom, put the green piece into place, and then bring it back down. That's all you're really doing. So you have solved a corner piece. You're going to find another corner like this. Make sure it's uh, diagonal to the white center. I'm pretty fortunate it has the white center like this. I'm going to move. I'm going to move it like this. I'm going to expose the green, put the green into place that I just um, that I'm trying to fix, and then I'm going to bring it down. That will solve um, two more corner pieces. It's very simple, and you don't really need to know the algorithms. Oh, here's another. And now here's the other situation that you could possibly have. You see how uh, green and white, white is on the side of the green. You're going to place it in the white center like this. See, now it's white and white, and green is right here. Now, normally we, we were dealing with green that are on the uh, on the left side, and I have to do the algorithm like that. But if your green is on the right side, when you need to do it, it's the same thing but backwards on the other side. So you're just you're still doing the same thing. You're exposing the green like this, putting the green into place, and then you're bringing it back down. It's the same thing on both sides. See, now there's only one left. It's very simple. And now there's only one piece left. You put it onto its center like this. Now you notice it's yellow and yellow. And green and yellow, so make sure it's at the correct uh, center. And then you're just going to do the same thing. Expose the green, put the green into place, and bring it down. And that will solve your green side. Now, if you have any questions, you can always PM me or message me, and I will answer you. But when you're done, this is very important. After you finish solving the green side, you want to check if you have small T's going around the entire cube. So once you solve this, you're looking for these little T's that I've made right here. See this little white T? On the next, there should be a little red T, and then a little yellow T, and then a little orange T. It should go around like that. Don't be alarmed if it's like this and you have a longer T like that. It doesn't matter. Okay? You just you just need to be concerned that you have this little formation and then we can start the next step.